Hello, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a video tutorial for the new Boston. And today we're going to be talking about arrays uh, inside PHP. Now, an array is a way to store data um, inside one variable and it's basically a collection of data. So, for example, if I wanted to store um, a few numbers, uh, I'm going to say uh, 1, 5, 10, 20. Now if I want to store these inside one place where I can access them, uh, that would be you know, more useful than having to break them up somehow to use them individually. Um, it also works well when you want to loop through and take elements of an array. So if you don't quite understand what an array is, then follow the examples, um, listen as carefully as you can, watch as carefully as you can, and you'll, you'll start to grasp why they might be useful. Now. In PHP, I'm going to create an array by using um, a variable, and I'm going to do this by creating the variable uh, standard um, and assigning. We're going to assign an array to it. So I've called this variable food. Now I'm going to use the array keyword. I'm going to put two brackets, and then obviously I'm going to end my uh, line. Now the two um, the two curly bracket, not curly brackets, sorry, rounded brackets are where you're going to put each element of your array in. Now, um, an element is, uh, or a value of an array, is automatically assigned a key. And the keys start from zero, and then they go on and on and on. So, if I was to create, first of all, um, food here, pasta, this is um, key zero of our, our array. This is um, the data um, held at key zero and the value of key zero is pasta. Um, bear in mind we can put numbers in these as well but we can't mix them so they have to be all of one data type. So food equals array of pasta, pizza, salad and I've just separated these with commas and I have put them in uh, single quotation marks. So now we have three elements to our array at key 0 here, key 1 and key 2. So if I want to access say pizza I'm going to say echo food and this time I'm using square brackets this is accessing the um, key of the array inside here, the element of each array and I want to say 1 now 1 you'd think normally would be relative to this one but obviously this is 0 this is 1, this is 2. So we're echoing out key 1 of the array food. And we know it's an array because we're using uh, square brackets. So this will simply echo out pizza. So let's refresh. And you can see that's echoed out pizza. The same as if we change this to 0, that's going to echo out pasta. And if we change this to 2, that's going to echo out salad. Now, um, there's a quick way to see, I mean, that's basically arrays um, on their own. These are, these are just uh, normal arrays that we're storing data in. Now, if I wanted to, say, see all elements of the array, I can use the print R here, the print R function, and all I do is put the um, name of the uh, array in. Now, this gives us it in a way that we can really understand how this is working. So if we refresh you can now see a clear uh, demonstration of um, how the array works and how the th how each um, value is stored. So we start off with this array keyword that's just there. Um, if but just out of um, out of demonstration, if you were to just echo out the array on its own, all you're displayed with is this array keyword. You're not given the elements of the array. You need to access them individually using uh, these square brackets. But for now, if we're just using the print R food, um, this is just basically showing us um, each um, key of the array. So remember, I said key zero, key one, and key two. And the value pasta is assigned to key zero. The value of pizza is assigned to key one. And the value of salad is assigned to key two. So we can see these and access them however long, however um, many things we add on. So for example, I could add um, onto the end of this, um, let's just say vegetable. And I refresh, you can see that that's added an, a key of three with the value of vegetable. 
So this is just basically how arrays work. Um, all you really need to know for, at this point is that you can store uh, many different uh, values inside one data type and then they can be accessed individually uh, but later on we can look at things like associative arrays which um, give us a bit more flexibility and um, where we assign n not keys but we assign our own um, our own sort of keys uh, in in a specific um, type if you like uh, that allow us to uh, use associative arrays um, to their advantage and um, also multi-dimensional arrays but this is just basically arrays um, as a whole now um, I've just had a thought you can actually um, assign uh, values um, to arrays by you by this so if I was to say food now we've got 0 1 2 3 if I wanted to assign um, a key uh, at key 4 I want to assign something else so um, I could say fruit so I've assigned a key 4 value fruit now obviously I could have just done this in here but if you wanted to do this in say a loop or something like that um, this is would be the way to do it um, late, obviously later on in PHP you'll understand why this method uh, is a lot more useful than this method here so let's just go ahead and print our and then array of food which is uh, how we've stored it and refresh and you can see that at the end we've uh, got key 4 here and we've assigned the value of fruit and we've done that in a completely different way but individually it is useful in some uh, circumstances so that's uh, basic arrays in PHP